video shows a school bus driver popping out of his seat and crashing into a home in Carmel. Police say it happened because the bus driver, 73-year-old Jack Thomas, was not wearing his seatbelt. Today, we sat down with the transportation director of the Greenfield Central Community School Corporation and showed him that video. 24-Hour News 8's Aaron Murphy has his reaction. Aaron. Well, Eric and Debbie, it's the law for school bus drivers to wear their seatbelts. Numerous transportation officials have told me every year during training, bus drivers are reminded of that. This video is so shocking, transportation director Bill Redmond says every driver needs to watch. Jeez. Oh, oh my seatbelt, is he? No, no. It's hard not to react. A school bus driver being propelled from his seat, barely holding on to the steering wheel before letting go and tumbling into the stairwell. I'm surprised that he bounced that far out of the seat uh, uh, like that. That, that, that kind of stuns you. You just couldn't realize that. Transportation director Bill Redmond says he has he's, never he's seen anything like this before. And luckily, the driver was alone on the bus when he crashed into a Carmel home. Is that scary to see? I mean, no yes, kids that scares will. you. Could you imagine if kids had been? There's always that. It's automatic for me. Bill Redmond was so stunned by what he saw, he wanted his employees to watch. See how much the seat bounces and then it, boom, pop up. Redmond and his employees believe the type of seat in the bus caused the driver to fall so far from watching the video. They all believe it's an air ride seat. The more you weigh the more air it's going to take. It makes for a more comfortable ride, but when you're not buckled in, Redmond says it could thrust a driver out of their seat. See, if you put it there and you hit a hard bump, you can see how that could have launched him. Redmond says he's never had a complaint of his drivers not wearing their seat belts, but he urges all bus drivers to watch what happens. I hope and I believe that all my bus drivers do wear their seat belts. I would love for them to see that though, so they could see, you know, this could happen to you. Well, Jack Thomas was cited for not wearing his seatbelt, and Carmel Clay Schools have said they encourage all parents and students to say something if they notice their bus drivers not wearing a seatbelt. Now, Indiana State Police released a statement saying it was fortunate in this crash that no children were being transported in the school bus and no one was seriously injured. Aaron Murphy, 24-Hour News 8.